Well, hello again, it's Lance. And today we're building an outdoor mini pool pond for the back patio. Now we already have the pool. All we need is water. And we're gonna get that water in there right now. So now that that's filled up, we need some fish. Headed to this uh, little lake to uh, catch some guppies for the pond. Oh, we got a little friend at the spot. I don't know if you can see this, but look at all of these guppies here. So I decided I'm gonna just do a trap, throw some bread, see if uh, they like the bread, put some bread in the trap, and uh, I'll catch them that way, because that's a lot. Uh, so I'm gonna set everything up and uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, they weren't really uh, going after the bread, so I decided to just uh, scoop them up with the net. Um, here they go. Take a look at all of them. I got quite a bunch. They're going to the pond, you know, start growing that bacteria for when I, I'll put in the big fish. But uh, it's hot out here, as you can see, I'm sweating. Uh, so I will see you back at the house. All right, so we're home now, and I'm about to let these bad boys into the pond. I'm gonna uh, place this underwater so you can see. Here we go. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Uh, for those of you who will watch this and, you know, may actually try this, I do want to let you know I did put a stress coat into uh, the water from API um, because I'm using tap water from the hose and I just wanted to make sure that the fish go into a safe environment. So stress coat, um, I use it whenever I change my water. Also, I did put a little filter in there. A lot of things in this pond are probably going to change it's going to evolve. It's just a small, quick pond. You'll see it evolving. You'll see more fish in there, other creatures in there as well. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.